Hi guys, what is up? It is Phobos here again, and um, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. It's been a very, very long time actually, and I am sorry for that. I kind of left you guys hanging, but um, I decided to take a little break from coding from everything really because um, life just kind of got in the way of it all, and I'm sorry for that to you guys, but I did notice you guys have gotten pretty good at everything by yourself, and uh, I'm really proud of you guys for all of it. I noticed a lot of help in the comment sections of my videos. Uh, my first video actually blew up a lot. Got tons of views um i haven't really bothered checking how many there were lately but um, i noticed i did hit at least past the 10,000 mark and i am very very thankful to you guys for that for just helping me out and um, help me grow telling your friends whatever you guys actually did to make it work just thank you so much um really meant a lot to me uh seeing how many people were just interested in learning how to code so um i'll just start jumping into it and get past all of that kind of things but um or else I'm just going around forever. So I figured since it's been a while since I've even coded or anything, I would just start with something nice and easy. And I've had a lot of questions asking me, like, really, what's going on with .envs, and how to fix it all. Even I've had recent comments about it, too, from people that are watching my videos just recently. So um, I'll just jump into a light refresher course for me, for you guys, for anybody who hasn't bothered coding in a while, or for anybody new that's watching this video. And... Um, you can find on my first video how to actually create an application and how to do those vital things. Um, but if you just randomly stumble across this, then welcome. And um, I'll start jumping into it all. So we're going to go into our test bot. We're going to want to go down here. Because what they really did over here is they replaced our .env file with the secrets tab. And .env is where we would normally put our bot token, which is the actual link to from the bot to the coding. And um, so, yeah, we got this. We got key, and key will do token. Under value, that's where your token will go. We'll jump back here real quick. First time I'm to activate the token, I guess, you'll have to reset the token entirely. And you'll just grab down here. See, right here, is that, that is the full token. Make sure you copy it all, or just click that copy button. Like, I probably should have done that first time. We paste in there real quick, hit enter to save it, and there you go. That is your token. Um, now we'll just start off with our imports, um, just going through the coding library, narrowing it down to a Discord bot itself. So for that, we're going to import our Discord. Then from Discord, uh, what's this coppered? Discord.ext, we're going to want to import commands. See, that's saying from the actual Discord files, we're grabbing commands directly. Um, then we're going to import OS. OS is just a little grabbing service to get the token from over here and into the code itself. Dumping down, we are going to want to define our token and how it's really going to work. So for token, we do os.environ.get because we're getting the code from the environmental folder, which is our secrets over here again. Everything kind of ties into it. And for that, we're going to do whatever you named your key is where you're going to name this. So, sign name mine token, that's what will name yours. You could do T, you could do anything really, but I just said token, so that's what I'll call it. Uh, make sure you do your bot prefix if you're going to use a bot. Um, I'm just doing this to help you guys out. I don't plan on using this bot or showing guys because I've gone over that in previous videos. So, make sure you just do a quick prefix check. We'll just do that. Or I get slash because you know why not next up we're going to define bots so for bot we do bot equals um, trans dot bot uh, command underline prefix equals prefix now if you don't want it to be that complicated and you want to do something simple you just put your prefix in here in quotation marks I just did up there because it looks kind of cleaner in my opinion so and now to make sure the bot itself works, we will do at bot dot events um, as a bot event set. Like um, for example, this can be an on ready. So when the bot turns on and is ready to go, we we'll do async def on underline ready. Your little appendices and your colon. I think it's called. And then we'll just do. We're going to tell it to print in here that the bot is ready to go. So if I just do print 
All right. Is good to go. And that's where I'm going to end the code. I'm not going to bother with commands or anything because, like I've said before, I've gone over that. If you're newer and you want to check that out, uh, check out some of my other videos. Um, we're going to end this coding with a bot dot run, and we'll do token there. And we'll start to run the code. You can see this is my actually first time even bothering to run this because it's going to have to install the different packages and uh, whatever else it does. So um, just wait while this runs. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for all of your help and for everything you've done for me and for each other. Um, that speech I thought was going to take longer than it actually did. <laughs> so we'll just wait here a few seconds, watch it do its thing. Yeah, it's removing that, removing that, updating, installing. You guys might get this, you might not. I know so when it removes packages, it's kind of bipolar about that. But um, yeah, just wait for it to finish up. See, it's installing the Discord file itself now. Now it's installing Discord. And now it should be running and good to go. Where? See? And with that, I will end this video. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll do some more videos soon. But until then, have a good time. Um, just keep on doing you. <laughs>